This is the Big O Show. This is the Big O Show. Some of you are focused on one guy when there are so many other things broken that would actually make that guy look good. And if you fixed everything else, that really would not be the problem. And to think, you know, because I also saw on the text line, hey, wouldn't you take Marino's wins now and a trip to the Super Bowl? Yeah, that's nice. But what does it mean? See, that's the problem. If you didn't live the Marino stuff, you would say those kind of things. But if you lived it like I did, I still, I'm still pissed at Marino's run because they didn't do enough for him. <laughs> you know how I tell about Tua? Okay, well, I need him to get a line. I need him to get a running game. I need him to get real coaching. And then he'll win. Well, Marino, so he won a bunch of games. He made the playoffs a few times. He got to the Super Bowl once, but he didn't win anything. And why? Because you didn't help him. So for me, as entertaining as Marino was, his tenure is frustrating the hell out of me because I got to live with the fact, and he's got to live with it even worse, that he didn't have a shot at really winning a Super Bowl. And personally, it pisses me off that Marino didn't win a Super Bowl. So while you settle for what Marino's career was, it's not enough. It wasn't enough. Marino deserved better. You deserve better as a fan. All you fanatics that travel with the team all over the place, you all deserve better. I think I said that in hour one. The Marino era was not good enough. We're not aiming to just be a team that gets in the playoffs. You want to be a team that is an impactful team year in and year out. That's what you used to be with Don Shula. That's what you want to get to. You don't want to get to the point where you could just put up points and win a couple games and get in the playoffs. That's not enough. I need more. I need a lot more than that. I'm tired of watching Tommy and Hialeah and Dolph Freaky and NorCal and all of you great fans out there. I'm tired of watching you all travel, spend a lot of money, and not celebrate a damn title. I'm not asking for six, dude. I'm not asking for two. I'm not asking for 20. I'm not asking for a dynasty. I'm asking for Big E to go celebrate a damn Super Bowl. Just one. That's all. I just want the fans that love this team like crazy, you all out there that watch this show a lot and care about the team like I do, Man, I just want to be rewarded one time, man. That's all I'm asking. That's it. Please, just give me a title. You know, I'm, I'm, I feel for everyone that, that loves this team and wants to win. But it's not about be, building a team that can just get into the playoffs. We, ha we had that. Right? Adam Gase got into the playoffs. Tony Sperano got in the playoffs. Wanstead got in the playoffs several times. Jimmy got in the playoffs a couple times. Big deal, dude. It's not about that. It's about building a team that can make an impact in the playoffs. It's not about building, it's not about finding a quarterback that can score 40 points and entertain us. And then what? And then what? I sit in a corner and watch somebody else in the Super Bowl? Oh, but no, you know, they entertained us during the year. That was good. No, that's not enough. So, no, it's not enough. It's not enough. What, ha what, what has happened in the last 30 years of Dolphin football is not enough. What's happened in the last 40 years of Dolphin football, not enough. 80s, 90s, 2000s, 2010s, or teens, or whatever the hell you want to call that second decade. The last 40 years? Dolphins football 
has not satisfied the fan. Those are the facts. They've entertained at times. They've given us some good moments. But they haven't done enough. And if any of you think that what the Dolphins have done over the last 40 years is ultimately acceptable, then you have very low standards. I don't need a team that teases. I don't want a woman that teases either. 